this. Okay, welcome to the first show for 1987. Each week, in fact, I'll be going around the country and overseas, giving you all the lowdown and the gossip of what's happening around the scene. Uh, this week, for the first show, I'm here at the Melbourne Tennis Entertainment Centre, which is being built. It's going to be a fantastic stadium. In fact, uh, the roof will open up, hold 17,000 people, and will be the first indoor-outdoor stadium ever built in the Southern Hemisphere. So watch out for that. A major rock venue for 1988 when it opens. All right, just returned from America. One group that I'm really, really impressed with are the Beastie Boys. Uh, this group are totally outrageous. They've become a cult figure in America overnight. They've got a great single out called You've Got to Fight for, the, for Your Right to Party. Uh, it's caused a lot of comment, already being aired on MTV, and there's been protests coming from everywhere. Uh, but we'll be showing it on the show in full over the next couple of weeks. Watch out for it, and I'm sure it's going to cause a lot of comment. All right, Madonna's got a big no-no at the moment. She did a, uh, an appearance at uh, the American Music Awards, which were on a couple of weeks ago. And uh, for one, she wouldn't uh, sit in the audience, and in the audience were Tina Turner, Janet Jackson, and Whitney Houston. And finally, when she, in fact, did win an award, she came out from the side of the stage and uh, did an entire Marilyn Monroe impersonation. Now, I don't know why she would do this. I mean, she's got a personality herself, but that was a real, real, real no-no Madonna. All right, Johnny Farnham, congratulations to John because he's heading with his album Whispering Jack, which is still number one, goes from 86 into 87 on the uh, Australian National Albums Chart, and he's heading for the, to become the all-time seller for a rock contemporary album. Uh, holding the number one spot at the moment is Men at Work with 395,000 sales. Uh, next is Jimmy Barnes, Working Class Man, with 360,000 sales. John Farnham is now shot up to number three with 350,000 sales. Number four is in excess with the swing album at, three, at 327,000. And Midnight Oil at number five with just over 300,000 for 10987654321. All right, listen, uh, just before I go, I read a review in Ram, uh, that tried to sometimes be the Rambo of rock and roll, I think, of a Wow I Knee album, and I just feel that uh, it's, uh, it's a self-titled album, and it's a shocking review, it's very, very negative. I don't see the point that uh, they cannot see that every album in Australia doesn't have to be like a Jimmy Barnes or a Hoodoo Guru or a Midnight Oil. It's a very negative thing, and like Countdown, I guess you can turn Countdown off sometimes, and with this particular issue, and particularly this review, you can always turn this into something like, well, expensive toilet paper. All right, don't forget to vote for the Countdown Music and Video Awards. Believe me, your vote is very, very important, and uh, uh, every vote does count. And uh, don't forget to also check out the Countdown magazine, and there is a great competition inside around the Countdown Music and Video Awards and, some, and a great prize, so watch out for that. And the new Countdown magazine, I tell you what, it's heaps. It's, it's stacked. It's like, a, like, a, like an encyclopedia. All right, I'll see you next week. Don't forget to vote. Would you welcome a crowded house?